A quick uh, item now. Oh, well, please, one of the things most important to me, travelling, travelling to Europe. It's about to get a bit more complicated, rather more queues, uh, and cost us a bit more. Let's talk about this with travel correspondent for The Independent, Simon Calder. Good morning to you, Simon. Good afternoon, sorry. Now explain to us, what is happening with changes for us travelling to the EU? OK, I'm going to run through this slightly complicated timeline for you, but don't panic is my chief message. Anything you have heard about us needing to go online and get a Euro visa for travel next summer is tosh. Let oh. me talk you through it. So um, on the 10th of November this year, it's in my diary, I'm sure it's in yours. <laughs> that's, when we get, <laughs> that's when we get the entry exit system running. And that means when you go to the European Union and wider Schengen area, which of course includes Iceland, Switzerland, Norway and plucky Liechtenstein. Stein, you will be fingerprinted and you will have your facial biometric and, taken. And you're going to do that when you arrive. It's not something you can go to an EU or other embassy beforehand and get that all done so you're not standing in a queue doing it. No, you will do that on arrival Bit at the over yeah. overseas airport. Generally, they think it could take four times longer than now. Um, and furthermore, of course, you'll also need to get it done if you're driving through the port of Dover and they don't know quite how it's going to work. Actually, the suggestion is that this um, whole system, which is years behind schedule, is actually going to be... Um, there's going to be quite a lot of wriggle room with local immigration officials able to say, actually we're only going to check one in ten uh, arriving travellers yeah. fingerprints just to keep the queues moving so that's what's happening in November yeah. um, what could possibly go wrong with a continent-wide major IT project well yeah. if nothing does go wrong then six months later here comes ETIAS the electronic travel information and authorization system also known as a euro visa it will cost seven euros and it will uh, which is about seven pounds it'll be valid for three years or when your till when your passport stops being valid for europe but crucially it's going to be optional for the first six months right. that takes us pretty much up to November 2025, so it's not going to affect anybody's holiday next year. So you no need to panic on to. that front. But the biggest yeah. issue most people have is, I mean, the seven euros on top of a holiday. I mean, in fact, you spend that in WH Smith on, on, a, on a packet of sweets. The main issue people are going to have, a bit of paperwork, but the only thing is queuing at airports. It's already a nightmare. We're going to be queuing for possibly, you know, when it used to, you know, it used to be half an hour, it might be three hours. I mean, that is going to be a nightmare. And is that going to continue forever? Because we're always going to have to have this, along with the Americans and others. Well, what they're saying is basically we want to get rid of all the old analogue thing where you go in and somebody has a look at your passport, counts the dates yeah. and stamps it and so on. We just want to have something where they will they will swipe your passport um, or look at the, uh, the the data on it. They'll say, yep, that's Julia, here she is. She's not been yeah. in Europe for too long recently. And in you go. So that should sort of speed things up. And the fingerprinting bit will probably be only on the first occasion you go to the EU. Yeah, but you're going to be standing behind passport. other people in the queue who haven't had their fingerprints taken. That's going to be the worry. I think it's going to be an absolute disaster. Remember, it was put off, wasn't it, by the French because they didn't want to have to deal with all that during the Olympics. Uh, but uh, travel correspondent of the Independent, Simon Calder, we're going to talk to you a lot about that as that all comes in. Thank you so much for joining us.